Athena is the, stands for the Automated Threat Estimator of Networks and Applications. Its job in life is to provide a near real-time situational awareness tool for cyber analysts to both make decisions about risks, vulnerabilities, and understand their networks in a comprehensive way. So as prior Network Defender, one of the biggest challenges we faced was we lacked understanding of how our networks worked lacked understanding of what was on our networks. And on top of that, we had a deluge of cyber vulnerabilities that came in. Um, how to prioritize those vulnerabilities in the context of my system was challenging. So fundamentally, what we're trying to do is enable the user and enable the cyber defender to prioritize vulnerabilities in the context of their networks. The Athena platform is comprised of six different components that integrate together to eventually feed information to a decision maker like an analyst uh, what to do within the network. The first component is a real-world sensing component, and it essentially extracts information from the internet, most related to vulnerabilities or exploits on uh, computer information systems. The second component is a local sensing component, and it basically pulls information out of your local enterprise to build out a picture of what your enterprise looks like at any given time. The third component is the reasoning component. It basically applies enrichment data sources against artifacts pulled out of the local sensing component as well as builds out the network topology, enumerating all the different network paths within the network that's been identified. The fourth component is the adversarial modeling component. So with this network topology, the adversarial modeling component, which is what we call the Athena Planner, goes through and enumerates all the different paths throughout the network. And at each point in that network, it can apply a different exploit or a different attack in that network to identify the weak spots in the network. So the output from the adversarial model is a mathematical approximation of attacks that exist within the network. That is fed into the validation model. The validation module actually emulates the, the network so that we can then see whether those attacks do succeed in the network. The output from the validation model then goes into the decision user interface. So everything that's pulled out of the validation model is presented to the users so that they can then make a decision on where to remediate, how to prioritize that remediation, or to add any type of other devices that are required in the network. This is a game changer in cyber because really we're providing the ability for the cyber analyst to holistically view the network and analyze risks across the entire network segment. What that really means is in the advent of things like cloud computing, on-premises data centers, 5G infrastructure, along with uh, mobility, we're having to reason about how does risk transfer across all these systems and how are these systems connected. What we're doing fundamentally is reasoning about all of it at the same time in a near real-time fashion. So there are analysis platforms out there that can draw in network information from an, an enterprise network and apply some type of vulnerability assessment against that. What makes Athena different is that those types of products are snapshot in time. What happens when the network changes, as it will change given the way our networks exist today. Athena is a dynamic product. It looks at what's happening today, but it can also continuously run the diagnostics against the network over time. Remember, it draws in all this different information as the network changes. Vulnerabilities are gonna change, computer places, computer landing spots are gonna change, IP addresses are gonna change. These things are gonna change over time, and Athena's dynamic that it keeps up with that. You can think of it as a multi-tool. There are several different things that go into the purpose of a multi-tool. Besides just the cyber analysis platform that we've been talking about, Athena can also be used for things like training, it can be used for things like device uh, reconstruction within the environment to test it. It can be used for things like attack reconstruction within the environment. It can be used like for things to test all your devices that are in your environment, vulnerabilities, even your IR or red teams. Um, are they doing what they need to do in the environment and can we see them? So it's not just one purpose, it's multi-purpose. Right? So Athena is a culmination of six research projects over the past five years uh, integrated into a single platform that we are super excited to put into the hands of analysts, whether they be in academia, industry, or government. Our goal here is that they can take this tool to better thwart the cyber threats that exist today.